Hey guys, welcome inside the bread truck. I'm Paul Barger and I'm the bread trucker. I wanted to make another video for you along this line of self care videos that I've been talking about lately. I'm about to shift it into overdrive. I've done a lot of work over the last 10 or so years on myself and I've made a lot of progress and I've done a lot of growth and healing but I feel like I'm a little bit stuck. There is no shame in reaching out and asking for help and that being said I did do just that. I reached out to another friend that is a specialist in this sort of healing that needs to happen with me. I really avoid trying to spend any money on things and I'm really frugal and there's a lot of stuff that you can do that is absolutely free online. Meditation guides, Insight Timer, which is an app I use. There's so much resources out there that you can get completely for free. You might need a little bit of help, a little bit of a guide. And that's where my friend Stephanie Matthews comes in. Her YouTube channel can be found right here. It is homeschooly. She deals with these topics of self-help and healing a whole bunch on her on her channel. I happened to be on Facebook the other day and she did a Facebook live stream and it just reached out and spoke directly to me. It was all about the subject of intimacy. Something that I have lacked completely in my life for the entire time I've been alive. I'm realizing that I'm completely shut off to intimacy and I really don't know what an intimate relationship even feels like and that's something that I really want to experience. It's something that I've always dreamt about. Now on this channel I don't think I'm an expert in any way. As a matter of fact I'm a little bit broken and trying to put myself back together. So I'm not claiming that any of this advice that I give comes from an expert point of view. It is just what things that I'm doing to help myself. I just want to share with you guys. Everything that I'm going through is in pretty much real time and all of the experiences that I put on my channel are real life things that are going on with me. Now I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm just trying to learn how to be more healthy and happy and that is a real struggle for me. I don't know how to do it and I feel really good in the fact that I asked someone to come in and guide me along this path. Something that I've made a lot of progress on my own, but I feel a little bit stuck in going any further. Pretty soon you guys will be seeing on my channel Stephanie Matthews from Homeschooly, and we're going to be doing some very intense sessions to help me reprogram my brain from bad programming that I got from being a child. Now this programming, it may not have happened just with me as a child. I believe it to have gone on for generations. A lot of these things that we experience as kids is things that is unhealed that your parents went through. Another thing that I heard that is very interesting is that all these decisions and everything we do throughout every single day is based on a framework that we built when we were under the age of seven years old. From the time we were born to the time of seven years old is pretty much when we've developed how we're going to interact with the world from that point forward. Now, if you think about it, for me to be a 44-year-old man operating as a six-year-old, how could I be successful? How could I be an adult, be a man? How could I be confident in myself acting from this point of view of a little child? I believe that to be true in everyone's lives. Unless you do something to reprogram yourself from this childhood protective mentality that you took, just to stop yourself from being hurt, it carries on throughout your entire life. I have seen it myself in my own life, and a lot of people that I interact with, it's simple to see a lot of childhood behaviors that just come out. I do it all the time. If I get upset or embarrassed, I can easily regress back to the small childhood Polly that 
just got his feelings hurt. Some of these things might not even be a big deal. Others are. But you lay this framework that is going to change things in the future. Something happened when we were kids. It happens to all of us. Unfortunately, some people deal with really, really horrific things. And others, it might be a somewhat innocent thing that happened. What happens is when we're little kids, something hurts us and we decide then and there that we're not going to allow that hurt from happening again. So we put up a protective mechanism to stop ourselves from feeling that pain. And then we go with that declaration that we've made in our head, I will not let this happen again. And invariably, it always happens again. Those declarations and rules that we put up when we were a little kid doesn't stop us from getting hurt like that again in the future. And in fact, a lot of times it makes more of it in the future. I just want to figure out how to reprogram those parts of my brain that snapped when I was a little kid and figure out how to start making decisions as an adult man and stop that hurt little child from influencing my daily operations today. That little child is always with you and for most of us they just need a little hug. I just want to share this journey with you. A big exercise that I've been doing in my life is with vulnerability. I heard a quote years back and it goes something like leadership is a shared vulnerability. Now that was taught to me in my corporate setting of a corporate job and they were teaching their leaders how to lead. That quote stood out to me and really impacted me very heavily. I was always taught that vulnerability was a bad thing. Little boys are taught not to cry and not to feel. To show those things would be weak. I've been doing that my entire life, trying not to show my emotion and trying not to feel and not to be vulnerable, not to let people in. It is a debilitating thing that you can do is to not be vulnerable. That was one of the things that I adopted from the very first vlog episode on my channel. Check it out right here is I wanted to be vulnerable and I wanted to feel okay with being vulnerable and do it on a more consistent basis. I wanted to put myself in front of the camera and not worry about what I look like or if my belly looks fat or someone makes a rude comment. I don't care. I'm going to put this out for everyone to see because I believe with vulnerability comes epic change and growth and healing. You can think whatever you'd like, but I'm doing this on purpose. I know a lot of people think I'm crazy for putting my life out there and exposing these vulnerable, sensitive portions of themselves. I want to do more and more of it, so I want to include you guys in these sessions that I'm going to be doing with Stephanie about healing my inner child and about growing and developing, welcoming intimacy and learning how to do that in my own life. I'm going to show you guys the most vulnerable parts of myself and... I just think that even if it's just a couple of people out there that it reaches, that is good enough for me. I know that this message a lot of people are craving for right now. They just don't know what to do or how to start or where to begin. And I didn't know either. And I'm just figuring things out. So I want to take you guys along on this journey, show you all the things that I do wrong, all the things that I could have done, done better and all the things that I do great, all together in one long video series about me healing myself. There are some things that go along with healing yourself, reprogramming yourself very well. Nature provides that to us. Those are things that in this society we are not taught to use in our lives. Things like plant medicine. It's discounted as some hokey hippie thing. If you do it, you're just a tree hugger. Well, it's just not the case. 
That's how civilizations have existed for millennia. I don't know how we got to this point where we've detached the natural realm from our own internal realm, but there is no detachment. It's all connected. You cannot treat a symptom without treating the entire organism. There's going to be a lot of work I'm doing with plant medicines, connecting with nature in a more abundant way, a shameless way, and not worry about being called a tree hugger or a hippie, because I don't care. Tomorrow is my first session with Stephanie, my first real session, and the entire thing will be recorded. And I'll be uploading a video to my channel very soon. There will be a large progression of these videos in a series and I don't know if I have a name for it or what but stay tuned and there will be more videos coming soon to help everyone on this planet get a little bit more in touch with that inner child and heal themselves and move forward and change and get uncomfortable and adventure and love and be intimate and present a thing that I really have no idea how to do. Even when I have moments of being present, I'm a little bit scared that I'm allowing it. I'm allowing myself to feel what there is to feel. But anyways, I'm going to get going. If this subject speaks to you about intimacy and self-care and personal development and growth and healing, leave me a comment in the description of this video below. I want to know what you guys are going through. If there's any way that I can help in your journey, like I said, leave me a comment below and tell me what's on your mind. You're not in this alone. We are all together. I know it may feel that way. We are all connected. I'm so happy and grateful to have connected with you guys. And I am so excited about the future and my first session tomorrow and scared and uh a little bit um nervous i really really am ready to let things go in my life that are not serving me that's it guys thanks for watching this video if you'd like to follow this journey Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll be alerted when the next video does come out on this topic. I love you all and I will see you very soon in another video right down the road. Bye.